Rhinoceros Success, Chapter 2. We're at 43 chargers and 15 cows, and we're only on page 25. So let's get right into this madness. Chapter 2, Rhinoceros Training. This chapter covers the exercises and habits I have found are most important to maintain a healthy rhinoceros spirit. Let's face it, if you were not born a rhinoceros, it is sometimes difficult to stay a rhino in a cow and sheep world. So some people are born rhinos, and it's just a gift to them. They can just be rhinos and charging without care, without an effort. They're basically the Mary Sue in this world. <laughs> but some people have to work for it. Okay, you don't want to be rhinoceros for a day. You want to be born again, only this time as a rhino. Are they trying to like, make this a spiritual born again sort of thing like what why would you say that <laughs> like there literally hasn't been a single reference to God or Jesus or any sort of religious or spiritual thing in this book so far so I really don't think that's what they're going for here. It's all in your mind. Of course, the most important ingredient of being an effective rhinoceros is your attitude. If you don't really want to be a rhinoceros, you won't charge like one. You have to want to be a rhinoceros so badly, you can almost feel your skin growing thicker. <laughs> You could almost swear you've gained a couple thousand pounds and your breath has taken on a strong, hot odor. <laughs> Suddenly, you find you have developed a taste for vegetarian cooking, and best of all, you have the insatiable urge to charge. <laughs> the insatiable urge to charge. 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 You are a bundle of energy. Every muscle in your body is twitching with excitement. There is something you are after. Unless you get out and start charging it down, you feel as though you might explode from all the excess power coursing through your veins. Excess power, eh? You are a Niagara Falls kind of energy. There's no kind there. It's just you are in Niagara Falls of energy. With the power in your body, you could easily light up the city of Los Angeles. You are an atom bomb waiting to be dropped. All you have to decide is what to drop it on. Don't waste your energy on trifling matters. Don't let anybody or anything drain your juice. Make sure you are going after something worth your time. Think big. Rhinoceroses do not charge at jackrabbits. Atom bombs are not used for the 4th of July, and the Niagara Falls is not used for taking a shower. What? <laughs> I missed, I missed a charging at least one. I haven't counted a single one. Let me skim real quick. Yeah, not a single one on page 25. That's shocking. There's one here. Do do one there. one in that paragraph that I just read. 46. 
not like it would really make much of a difference if I missed one or two here and there. Go after a rhinoceros-sized goal, one equal to your potential. Don't underestimate yourself. Remember what Dr. Robert Schuller tells us. It is better to attempt something great and fail than to attempt nothing and succeed. But if you attempt nothing and succeed, then you would have achieved a success and I don't need to read this stupid book. <sighs> you are a powerful rhinoceros. Go for the biggest. Declare yourself a rhino. But why though? Before you do anything else, put this book down, get two 3x5 cards and a pen. Don't cheat now. A true rhinoceros would charge right over to the drawer and get them. I don't think I have any. It's 2020. Does anybody? <laughs> if you don't have 3x5 cards, get a sheet of paper. I don't know if I have a sh just a sheet of paper. Now write in capital letters the following on your first card. Oh jeez, it's in all caps. I am a rhinoceros. I have a damn the torpedo spirit. Again with the torpedoes. <laughs> I am full of energy and I can't wait to get up in the morning to start charging. So you want me to write all of that on a 3x5 card? For what reason exactly? On the second card, write a sentence announcing the fact that you have reached whatever goal you are after and the date you want it to become a reality. Huh? Write a sentence announcing the fact that you have reached whatever goal you are after and the date you want it to become a reality. But if I've already reached it, it's already a reality. What are you talking about? For instance, if you have always wanted to start tap dancing school for rhinoceroses... Ugh... You would write, I am the successful owner of the tap. I am the successful owner of the tap dancing school for rhinos, which opens for business in July 1981. It is important to state it as though you already have it. But why? Next, put these two, oh, you're not gonna explain, okay. Next, put these two cards near the head of your bed. Before you go to sleep at night, read them out loud to yourself. Do it again in the morning when you first wake up. Try to read them with feeling and belief. Put some emotion behind your words. At first, you might have to pretend that you can't wait to get up in the morning. The important thing is to make reading your cards a habit. Habits generally don't have feelings behind them. It's a habit because you don't really think about it. You can't skip a week and then read them seven times in a row. Read them once, every morning and every evening. If you keep at it faithfully, by the end of 21 days, you will actually be a rhinoceros. Wow. Okay. Take action. These affirmations will do you absolutely no good unless you combine action with them. Say you are a rhinoceros and act like one. Reading affirmations without acting on them is kidding yourself. Get in the habit of moving. Get in the habit of taking action towards your goals. Tell yourself that you can't wait to get up in the morning to start charging. And then when the morning comes, leap out of bed and start 
charging. Those two. I only clicked once. It went up twice. Stupid counter. <sighs> okay. Rhino portraits. Another good idea is to find pictures of rhinoceroses and hang them in your home to constantly remind yourself of your proud heritage. The bathroom is a great place. Who puts your family heritage? What? In the bathroom? It will give you something to think about while you're sitting in there. Why? Make a new family album. Make sure you put it in the bathroom. Find a picture of a family of rhinos and claim it as your family. Jeez. If you can find a poster of a charging rhinoceros, that is excellent. Frame it and hang it in your living room. Look for rhinoceroses carved out of wood at your local animal park. The idea, local animal park? You mean the zoo? Local animal park, what? The idea is to constantly remind yourself that you are a powerful charging rhinoceros. Charging. Oh, there was another one too up there. I need to pick. This book is so. This chapter is so baffling. I'm, I'm forgetting to count the charges. Okay. Look out, world. Reread this book often. <laughs> I hate to brag. I'm sure you do, but I believe I have got the best book out on how to be a rhinoceros. I'm sure you have the only book, except for the sequels you wrote for some reason. Oh my gosh, Scott. Maintaining your rhino spirit. You just charged out of bed, showered, dressed, and you are enjoying a hot cup of muddy water. You pick up the animal daily and scan the front page. Dollar drops to new low. Water shortage predicted this summer. 40 rhinos killed in bus tragedy? <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't a torpedo? Somehow? <laughs> Don't turn on the television because they will have a film... Yeah, a film report on the bus tragedy. How do you think this affects your ability to charge throughout the day? It tends to dampen your enthusiasm, doesn't it? Okay, so you shouldn't care that 40 rhinos were killed in a torpedo tragedy. It doesn't affect you after all. That's literally what this book is saying. Well, not literally. We're not talking about rhinos. Literally. Although sometimes I think this book forgets about that. Why subject yourself to this kind of negative stimulation? Maybe because it's helpful to be reminded that the world is kind of a terrible place? And to be careful out there? Also that you need Jesus? <laughs> Jeez. This got dark really quick. You have thick skin, but there is no sense in pointing a cannon at yourself, is there? Rhinoceroses do not make a career of watching television. Neither do they spend 
their whole mornings reading about every crime and killing across the country in the paper. I mean, does anyone actually obsess this much over it? Like, I... <laughs> let the co let the cows out in the pasture fill their naughty minds with the negative aspects of life. Oh, here, here it says, do not ignore the negative. Before I forget to count that cow. Do not ignore the negative, but don't saturate yourself with it. Okay, so now you want balance? Just as weeds grow in the most beautiful garden, life too will always have negatives to contend with. Watch that your garden is not overrun with weeds. Instead, read books and magazines stressing the positive aspects of life or something educational. How about the Bible? Are we going to talk about that? Aren't you supposed to be a Christian? We become the product of three things. Who we associate with, the books we read, and the tapes we listen to. This was clearly written before the internet was a sensation. Oh, by the way, check out this mug. I'm fully embracing my rhino. It's a carbon fiber wall support company, apparently. I bet everyone at that company are rhinos and charging at the opportunity to build carbon fiber wall supports in your home. Go to rhinocarbonfiber.com. <laughs> okay, where was I actually? Oh, I just finished that section. So, as you associate, so you become. Stay away from cows at all costs. Charge with the rhinoceroses. Fly with the eagles, run with the cheetahs, and eat with the lions. Don't hang around with the cows or the sheep. They will pull you down. You are a rhinoceros. Associate with the doers and the achievers and the positive. The live wires and you will stay a fully charged rhinoceros. Fully charged. The rhinoceroses are batteries now. Associate with the sleeping cows, the sloths, or the jackasses, and you will become a loser. Uh, read good books. Are you going to mention the Bible? Are you going to mention the Bible, Scott? Read good books. You also tend to become what you feed your mind. If you eat dirt and garbage three times a day, your body will soon show it. It is the same way feeding your mind. Garbage in and garbage out. Be particular of what you read. Ask yourself, will the information in this book help me reach my goals? If it won't, why waste your time? Maybe it's entertaining? I don't know. Read positive, stimulating rhinoceros books. Do you have a list? Did you know that there are books written by the wealthiest rhinos in the world telling how they got rich? Like this one? And the lazy cows don't even read them. And they can read. I feel like I missed a cow. I think so. I don't think I counted any of these. Did I? I don't think I did. Okay, so one, two. Yeah, I missed two. By the way, we're at 54 charges and 19 cows. Learn to use OAE. E. Not sure what that is. Other oh, other animals' experiences. 
then use OAM, other animals money. Huh? You're just taking people's money now? What? Success is easier for those who go after it today because there is so much help available. Start your own success library. You will get profitable ideas from the books and they will keep you in a charging mood. If you are not a bookworm, you can be a tapeworm. Ugh. There are cassettes dealing... Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a pun. Uh. <laughs> a tapeworm, get it? There are cassettes dealing with every subject conceivable. Was this before CDs? But take the advance of Jim Ron, who says, Don't let your learning lead to knowledge. Let your learning lead to action. In other words, charge! Yeah, yeah, that's essentially what Jim Ron was saying there. Charge. Plan on being a prosperous rhinoceros. How does a rhinoceros get virtually anything he wants? How do you achieve wealth others only dream about? How do you live the... I hate, I hate this. Mid-sentence here, I want to keep going, but they take up two whole pages to quote something they already said and show an illustration. Make sure you choose the right friends. Associate with the doers, the achievers, the positive, the live wires, and you will stay a fully charged rhinoceros. Charging that. <sighs> These are really not that good illustrations, I don't think. I guess that's subjective, but I mean, they're ugly, right? <laughs> I forgot where I was. How do you live the most exciting, most adventurous, and most satisfying life? Plan on it. That's, it's that simple, huh? Whatever you plan, you stand an excellent chance of getting. <laughs> that makes no sense. I plan on waking up and having a million dollars stuffed into my bed. Plan for nothing and you will get a big fat zero. Absolutely nothing. Plan to be a rich rhino. Charge on your plans and sure enough, you will be a rich rhino. Dreams don't always come true, but plans acted on are sure to materialize. Plan your dreams and then work your plan. Then you have a chance of making your dreams come true. I, I kind of agree with what he's saying here. You have to do something to achieve something. But, holy cow. It absolutely amazes me how some cows think that wealth is some mystical state that is just haphazardly, mysteriously assigned to only the rich. Cow reference. All rich rhinos are rich because they planned on being rich. Mm, it's no big deal. Plan on being wealthy and you will become wealthy if you follow your plan. Unless it's a bad plan. A plan by itself will be of no use. That's why being a rhinoceros is handy. You don't just work your plan, you charge it. Pour it on. Pour it, pour it on what? Huh? Plans do change. Your plans are never going to work out exactly, but you just said... Oh, never mind. 
At times, they will have to be modified. Don't throw in the towel if your plan doesn't seem to be working. Remember, your persistence and your two inch thick skin make new plans. Keep charging. That's 60 charges. Six, zero. Don't plan too many things at one time. That's smart. Remember the magnifying glass? No, why? Not the magnifying glass. Rhinoceros is charged with singleness of purpose. If you plan too many things to charge at, your rear end might not follow your front. That could slow you down. Plan your attack, and then attack your plan. What are your goals? Setting goals is part of your planning. Your plans should always lead to the attainment of your goals. Okay. This is the stuff success is made of. Rhinoceroses thrive on goals. They charge them down with an intensity unequal to any other animal. Design the life you want to live. Plan your long range goals. What you want to be and what you want to do with your life. Plan your intermediate goals. What are you going to be doing in five to 10 years? Finally, plan your short term goals. To help you reach your intermediate goals, what are you going to accomplish this week or this month? An expedition of a thousand miles begins with one step. Get stepping. I'm surprised you didn't use a charge there. That was a perfect opportunity, Scott. You're slipping up. Charge at every opportunity. You're, you're ruining your own mantra here. You have to get you have to give to get. The name of the game we are all playing is called Free Enterprise. According to Mark Victor Henson, this means that the more... Come on. Enterprising you are, the freer you are. It is the best game around, perfect for rhinoceroses. The only role is that you have to give to get. What you reap, you sow. Simple rules, right? Right. They are simple. The game is easy to win, and anybody and everybody can be a winner. How come everybody isn't a winner, then? Why are there so many losers? I guess they have never looked up the rules. Yeah, I guess, I guess they never looked up the rules. That's why they're losers. That is all they would have to do. Too many cows are trying to go through life with a catcher's mitt on both hands. Write the rule down now, so that you will never forget it. I thought there was more than one rule. I have to give to get. Oh, that's the rule. Okay. This means that the more energy you put into something, the more you are going to get out of it. This applies to every facet of your life, from making friends to making money, from running a business to running a family. Stop giving and you will stop getting. Your life is like a river. Keep the water flowing and you will be refreshing, life-giving, clear and beautiful. Okay. Dam it up and you will stagnate. Give, knowing that you will receive back ten times as much. Huh? What? <laughs> Are you basing that off of experience? Because that's not most people's experience. That is the way it works. In what world? The farmer plants a cup of corn and he reaps a bushel. That's a good deal, isn't it? Uh, um, give and you will get the same markup. Sell yourself. <clears throat> you are your own product. In the free enterprise system, 
everyone has to sell themselves to somebody. If you want to be friends with the lion next door, you are going to have to sell yourself to him. Sounds like a terrible foundation for a friendship. To win a mate for life, you are really going to have to do some selling. Okay. If you are seeking employment, you have to sell yourself to your employer. Okay. The better you are at selling yourself, the more options you will open for you in your life. Do you know what makes super sale sales animals? Sales animals. Sales animals. Like sale and then animals. Sales animals. Do you know what makes super sales animals? Everything that you, as a rhinoceros, already have. Rhinoceroses make exceptionally fast, <laughs> exceptionally fantastic sales animals. Gosh, stop that. Isn't that convenient? I'll say. Success is so easy being a rhinoceros. It's almost unfair. You are always charging. Okay, this book goes back and forth between success is super difficult, hard to obtain, and success is just so easy, you just have to be a rhino and go get it. Like, at the very beginning, it was like all about like, oh, it's so difficult, you have to be like super focused and be ready to fail over and over again until you finally reach your success. But here it's just like, oh, it's easy breezy, let's just, let's just not even bother. You are always charging. You are audacious, aggressive, and enthusiastic. Best of all, you believe in yourself and what you are doing. That is the key to successful selling. If you are trying to sell something that you don't think is as super great as you are, get something that is. Only then will you be selling. Only then will selling be fun and easy as it's supposed to be. Take care of yourself. Are you properly packaged to sell? <laughs> Just because you are a rhinoceros doesn't mean you have to smell like one. Who wants an odor like that around. <sighs> Make sure you take care of yourself. Your body is your business and you only have an inventory of one. That means you can't afford to take the time to take care of it. That means you can afford to take the time to take care of it. <sighs> I can read, I swear. Rhinoceroses do not come cheap these days. In order to keep yours charging efficiently, make sure it gets the best of everything. You don't put cheap gas in your Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Okay. Make sure you eat the best and most nutritious food available. You can't afford to be running on only seven cylinders. Charge on all eight. Eat rhino food. So lots of plants then? Yeah, lots of plants. Eat live, green, fresh, raw foods like a true rhinoceros. Rhinos do not live on tacos and cheesecake. But tacos and cheesecake are delicious. And, and tacos can be decently healthy if you do it right. You do not go charging after a bowl of sugar crunchies in the morning. I hate sugar cereal, by the way, so I'm, I'm on board with that one. Stay away from sugar, white flour, meat, and fried foods. Sugar and white flour, okay, sure. Meat and fried foods. 
can be done right. So, no. I think I'll eat my meat and fried food, so. Guess I'm not a rhino. These will take more energy away from you than they will give you. Yeah, that's how food works. Learn what is good for your body. Get in the habit of regular exercise. Be health conscious and you will charge faster, harder, and longer. Sixty-five charges, by the way. Take a rhino rest. Alliteration, I like it. I don't like it. Give yourself a rest every once in a while. At least twice a year. That's it? Take off for one... Oh, if you're... Okay, for a week. At least twice a year, take off for one week and go lie in a mud hole. <laughs> Do nothing but relax. It is difficult for the rhinoceros to relax. But try. Let your motor cool down. metaphor is all over the place and it keeps going back to the rhino being a machine <sighs> let your motor cool down as you contemplate your game plan I thought you were relaxing if you're relaxing you should not be contemplating your game plan Scott what are you doing <sighs> contemplate your game plan for the next six months then when your week is up, explode out of that mud hole and charge. So you really can't rest and relax. Even when you're resting and relaxing, you have to be thinking about what you're going to be doing when you're no longer relaxing. <sighs> Discipline yourself. Discipline. Having to do something you don't want to do. As little animals, we all had to do it. As little animals, we all had it. Really? That isn't something our parents had to, like, instill upon us? That's why we are as good as we are now. Remember the kid who had no discipline? His parents gave him anything he wanted. Not always, but a lot of the time, yeah, sure. They let him do anything he wanted, and he did anything he wanted. How did that turn out? He's a cow now, right? Discipline is good. Discipline makes rhinos. Depends on how you're defining discipline, I guess. But who is disciplining us now? No one. We can do anything we want. Not really. I mean... There's a, a number of people who might be in a position to discipline you. Your boss. Maybe a police officer if you're breaking the law or something. I don't know. Uh, where was I? We can do anything we want, which for most animals is as little as possible. Really? For most animals it's as little as possible? Everything is so black and white in this book. It's exhausting. You see, there is a scientific principle called entropy, which says that there is a tendency from the highly organized downward to the less organized. There is never an increase of order unless acted upon by an outside force. The principle of inertia also confirms this. Inertia is the tendency of all objects, including animals, to stay still unless acted upon by some outside force. Does that include rhinoceroses? A ball will not pick itself up off the ground and throw itself into the air. In the same manner, an animal will not get up out of bed. Ugh. Again with the illustration. 
<sighs> Do nothing but relax, guys. Except this rhino isn't actually relaxing. He's thinking about what he's going to be charging at the moment he gets out of that pool. Uh, go lie in a mud hole. It's not a pool, it's a mud hole. In the same manner, an animal will not get up out of bed and start charging unless acted upon by some outside force. That outside force is your desire, your motivation, your belief, and your discipline. Rhinoceros rhinoceroses succeed because they are self-disciplined. It's easy to discipline others, is it? But to discipline yourself is difficult to master. Fat animals remain fat animals because they do not discipline themselves. They have no control over their eating habits. Cigarette smokers continue smoking because they have no discipline. They have no control over their habit. Cows remain cows because they have no discipline. I'll count two. He used the word twice. 23 cows. They have no control over all the bad habits which make them a cow. Cows succumb to entropy. Hey, don't feel bad if you are a cow. That's the way it is. Decay and disintegr yeah, disintegration are natural. You are a perfect example of entropy, right along with eroding cliffs and corroding metals. Besides, discipline is difficult. Cow habits take years and years to develop. Try to change them now. To try to change them now would be too much hassle. Continue to rot in your cow existence. Devoid of motion, energy, and eventually life. Have a nice decay. <laughs> Rhinoceroses thrive on discipline. It takes discipline to become a rhinoceros. New habits must be developed, like charging. Audacity and persistence. Old destructive habits must be abandoned, like procrastinating complaining and worrying. Rhinoceroses have self-discipline. You are the boss. You are driving yourself constantly. You are staying clear of this cow disease called entropy. Never let, never let it get the upper hand on you. Always be aware of its persistence and do not let it get a foothold on your rhinoceros life. That, that section was particularly painful. <laughs> Such a... You are in charge. Well, that's a different charge. It's not the same charge, so we can't count it even though it's the same word. So, we were almost at the end of this chapter and I ran out of space on my phone and it stopped recording. <laughs> we have two sections left. So let's get this over with real quick. I 
can't believe I have to read this again. <laughs> you are in charge. Take charge of yourself. You've only got one 6,000 pound body to discipline. Take it and create the most efficient, most impressive rhinoceros the world has ever seen. You have 24 hours per day to devote to this task. Keep charts and graphs on your progress. Make it rough and demanding. Pour it on. Um, I stopped here to wonder what this phrase is. I've never heard of it before reading this book. What is pour it on? Is that a common phrase or was it at the time this book was written? When was this written? 1980. years before I was born. Okay, moving on. Fine-tune yourself to a degree of excellence. You don't let your Rolls Royce get out of tune. You don't let its spark plugs get all gummed up or its air filter clogged with filth. At least discipline yourself to keep up with your Rolls Royce. Don't get beat by a car. Discipline yourself relentlessly. You are your own boss. Slap yourself into shape. If you are overcome by inertia or entropy, whose fault is it? Your own, of course. <sighs> you are the president of You Inc. Why don't you run your company more carefully? You are the leader of your own band. Why don't you get it together and accomplish something? You are the drill sergeant. Why don't you discipline your troops? Rhinoceros. Left, right, left, left, right, left. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> military rhinos now. We're in the military of rhinoceroses. Elephants never forget. Don't you either. Now that you are right, now that you are a rhinoceros, never forget it. Be careful not to slip back into the pasture with the cud-chewing cows who quietly await their slaughter. I, re I said when I was first reading this and the camera had stopped that I remember this. It's so... It's so spiteful. Like, why, why are you hating on these poor cows, Scott? Not everyone who isn't as gung-ho as you is waiting to be slaughtered. You idiot. When you find yourself in a situation that requires energy, action, and some risk, think rhinoceros. Wake up in the morning, thinking rhinoceros. Associate with other rhinos. Always charge massively. Don't let the torpedoes worry you and live the good rhinoceros life. <sighs> the torpedoes again. We just have to really worry about those underwater weapons, don't we, as rhinoceroses. I already counted the charges and cows in those sections. So we are at 68 charges and 30 cows. And we're on page 44. I said I was going to bed before I realized that the camera stopped, so now I'm actually going to bed. Have a good night, guys.